Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of April 22nd through April 28th. I am slowly but surely catching up, so almost in May finally. Um, but for this week, I'm so, so excited to announce that I'm going to be doing a collab plan with me. And it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. Um, and this one's going to be with one of my good planner friends, Rachel from Gathered Plans. Um, I'm going to link her video down below, so make sure you guys check that out. Her plan with me's are so fun to watch and her spreads always come out really really gorgeous we have similar styles in that we are both like chronological white space planners but also our styles are a little different just in like the color schemes and the type of stickers that we pull in um so i really really love that we have you know some similarities and then some differences as well and for this week the both of us will be using this kit from white deer stationery i believe it's called beautiful ride and it's so pretty and floral this was one of the kits that we both really liked and so we thought it would be great for us to do a collab with it. Here we have the eight full boxes. On this page, we have the six half boxes, the check flags, the to-do headers, some quarter boxes, icons, and a weekend banner. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi, some quarter boxes, and then washi strips along the side. So I only picked up the mini kit format, which is just these three sheets. And I think that'll be enough for my planning style. If I need any other boxes, I'll just pull them in from my leftover stash. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to begin. Again, make sure you check out Rachel's video as well. She is such a sweet planner friend of mine, and I couldn't be more excited to be doing this with her. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started um, as usual by placing down my bottom washi. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to use only one of the strips that came in the kit, and then I pulled in the 10 millimeter bow washi from Simply Gilded, which is so pretty. Um, I did use Simply Gilded washi last week, and I try not to use it in like every single spread, but I just felt like it went so well with this kit, so I just couldn't resist. And after I put down both sides, I moved to the sidebar. For this week, there was no quote box that came in the kit. Why Dear Stationery does sell these really pretty gold foil overlays that you can put like over the box and I think one of them does have a quote but I didn't pick up that sheet so I decided to just write in a quote of my own um, so the quote that I decided on was conquer from within and I just feel like these last few months have been really really hard with work and I've just needed a lot of like mental and emotional strength to um, kind of make it through basically and so I just felt like that quote really resonated with me for this week the brush lettering pen that I use is the Tombow Fudenosuke and that is definitely one of my favorites and underneath that I decided not to pull in glitter headers this week and instead I used the Simply Gilded Bow Washi throughout the week so I put down a strip in the sidebar and then I put down a habit tracker from the kit to track my working out. Because this is a mini kit, it did not come with any of those um, full like Monday through Sunday boxes. So I ended up finding a few things from my collection that kind of worked. Um, first, I put down this quarter box with a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark my happy moments and um, used a ombre heart checklist. And then underneath that, I put down a strip of washi and a heart check flag, um, again, from my leftover stash. And I pulled in a gold foiled this week header from Magic Prince Co. Then moving to Monday, I first started by putting down a to-do header at the top, and then I used this morning coffee gold foil lettering sticker from Randy.Plans with a coffee cup from uh, Fox and Pip to mark that I got my usual Monday morning coffee on that day. Um, then I went and treated myself to some Thai food for lunch, so I put that on a quarter box, and that adorable takeout sticker is from Mochi Kichi. I then had an IEP meeting, which are meetings that we hold for students in special education. So I used a half box and an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that. And I ran out of the light pink flags. So lately I've had to be a little more innovative with how I mark those meetings. And at the very bottom, I put down a full box because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then moving back to the middle space, um, I found these gold foil flags from a kit that I used from Sadie stickers a few weeks ago. So I pulled that in horizontally and paired it with a cardio sticker, which I believe is from MJ and Hope. Initially, I put down a couple washi strips, but I decided against it, so I lifted it up, and then I found this quarter box in my collection. I put down a crock pot sticker from White Deer Stationery as well to mark that we made some pot roast for dinner that night, and then I didn't have enough space left to mark what I wanted, so I had to trim off a little bit more of the full box. It was kind of like a short full box now, and um, because this is premium matte paper, it did get stuck to the paper pretty badly, and I did have to pull out my undo in order to remove it. In the remaining space, I just used a little YouTube icon from Paper and Milk to mark that I did a YouTube binge, and I also lettered binge with my Tombow Fudenosuke pen again. 
On Tuesday, I started by layering a couple strips of washi, and then I put down this gold foiled meeting sticker from um, Hazel Sticker to mark the few meetings that I had that day. The first one was a staff meeting, so I marked that with a flag from my leftovers book, and that paper clip bow sticker is from Sticky Fingers Co. I then put down this gorgeous gold foiled IEP sticker from um, Jador Planning, but I do remove it later on because that gold is just like really intense. And because this kit has some softer colors, it just didn't really match as well. Um, so anyways, I then put down a full box with a grocery sticker from Sparkly Studio to mark where I got groceries that day after work. And then I used a strip of the Simply Gilded washi underneath that. I put down a half box to mark my workout that day and the workout girl sticker is from Thule Plans. I feel like she looks so fabulous. I wish I looked half that cute when I work out. And at the bottom, I used a panda bird design um, half scallop label with a gold foiled record voiceover sticker from Randy.Plans to mark that I recorded a voiceover that night. On Wednesday, I first placed down the full box at the top. Um, that is the only full box with that deeper like purple color. And so I did want it towards the center of my planner just to kind of draw attention to that because again, it's like the only um, box with that color scheme. And then underneath that, I put down a to-do header from the kit. I put down a quarter box with a film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams and a gold foiled upload sticker from Randy.Plans again to mark that I uploaded a video that morning. And then I used a coffee cup from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to that I got some coffee in the staff lounge. Our staff lounge was renovated a couple months ago, so it's been really nice um, having like a Keurig machine in there to make some coffee. And this is where I replaced that gold foiled flag on Tuesday. I had another IEP meeting on Wednesday, which I put on a half box with another flag from Lily Grove Designs. And then I did a workout when I got home, so I used a quarter box and the shoe sticker, I believe, is from Sticker Sis. I then put down a strip of the washi from the kit that I didn't end up using, and I pulled in a gold foiled TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark what we watched that night. And then I slept early because I was just super tired from this week, um, so I used a sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and brush lettered sleep early with my Tombow Fudenosuke. On Thursday, I first started by placing down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi, and then I used a quarter box from the kit with this really gorgeous pen sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had a testing appointment that morning with a student. And that particular testing appointment turned out to be pretty stressful and difficult. Um, so I ended up like stress eating my lunch at nine o'clock because I was like, oh my God, like I just can't deal. Um, so I put down this like annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that. And at the bottom, I placed down a full box because I knew that's where I wanted it and I didn't want to forget later on. Um, so that day, because I had eaten my lunch early, I ended up getting hungry um, at noon anyway. I did have to go pick up something at a different school site. So I took advantage of that little outing to get some food from McDonald's and I used a fry sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. I then used another strip of the bottom washi from the kit and cut it down to fit the box. The gold foiled meeting sticker again is from Hazel Sticker. And then I used a half box with another gold foiled flag from Sadie Stickers to mark my first IEP meeting and then another Lily Grove Designs flag to mark my second IEP meeting that day. At the end of the night, my boyfriend and I just went and did date night as we usually do on Thursdays. And so I just put that right on the full box. The gold foiled lettering sticker is from Randy.Plans. And then the gold foiled bow sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. On Friday, I started by using a to-do header at the top, and then I put down this half box to mark that it was Friday. I was so excited, and I also got a matcha latte that day. That coffee sticker is from Stella Bow Sticker Co., and underneath that, I put down a bow paperclip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a staff meeting that I had that morning, and then Friday turned out to be a really, really difficult day. I encountered a pretty unpleasant situation, so it just kind of um, you know, was a rough day overall. I used a sticker that summed up my day so perfectly. It's it's like this little mochi running into a brick wall and that's totally how I felt. Um, that sticker is from Mochi Kichi and when I got home I did a workout so I used a shoe sticker from Sticker Sis again to mark that and then we went to Trader Joe's because I ran out of my favorite truffle chips so we had to stock up and to mark that I used a bow from Sadie Sticker again with a gold foiled grocery bag from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, I made myself a couple stiff margaritas and just relaxed because, again, it was just like a really difficult day. And so to mark that, the margarita sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and then that relaxed text sticker is from, I think it's from Thule Plans. 
Moving to the weekend, originally I tried to use this weekend banner, um, which I thought is really cute and dainty, but it is really small and didn't fit like the entire um, weekend section. So I put it down underneath Sunday and then I used my brush lettering pen to write hello, like hello weekend, but I didn't like how that turned out because I felt like it was just really um, kind of choppy since it's like different writing, different color. So I decided to forego the weekend banner for this week. Um, instead, on Saturday, I put down a full box at the top and then I put down another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and cut up the bottom washi again to make another like little quarter box and on top of that the sleep in sticker that I just put down is from Toffee Bananas. I got to sleep in on Saturday which is awesome and then I put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I got done that afternoon. One of them was filming, so I pulled in this gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prints Co. and also used a little Coffee Monsters Co. emoji um, just to add a little decoration. At the end of the night, my friends and I went up to a concert in LA and it was pretty fun, except I was totally reminded that I'm not like 22 years old anymore. And seriously, it was so loud and I was like struggling because my ears hurt and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I can't really do this anymore. Um, so anyways, I put that on a half box and the gold foiled heart sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. In the remaining space, I just marked that we got some dinner at Burger King before the concert because there was um, a Burger King right down the street. That burger sticker is from Paper and Milk and it came in the same sheet as the fries that I used on Thursday. For Sunday, I first started by using another strip of that bottom washi. Um, that ended up coming in handy quite a bit since I used it a lot as like a little quarter box. I used a sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro and I wrote sleep in on the side because again, I got to sleep in on Sunday and I really needed that because we didn't end up getting home till like 3 a.m. on Saturday. Um, so I definitely was like super exhausted. Um, then we went and got some groceries. So I marked it the same way that I marked Trader Joe's on Friday by using a flag from Sadie sticker and a gold foiled grocery from Hazel sticker. I had some Korean food for lunch that day, so I marked that with a utensil sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I realized that I had these like sleep in text stickers from Paper and Milk, so I pulled that into the top just because you couldn't really see my writing over the background um, of this sticker. Then I found this like quarter box strip in my leftovers collection, and I layered a Nap Queen sticker over that. That is from MJ and Hope because I ended up taking a nap that day. It was like such a lazy day because I slept in and then took a nap, but again, I was just like so tired from the night before. And and then I put down a full box underneath that. Um, in the afternoon, I did manage to do a workout, so I was pretty proud of myself. I put that on a quarter box from the kit, and the dumbbell sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. I cut up another strip of the bottom washi to use as like a header um, because we watched a couple shows that night. The TV sticker I pulled in is from Brandy's shop. And then I just marked that we watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is like one of my favorite shows now, and another show called Street Food on Netflix, which highlights like different street foods from um, countries in Asia. And I really enjoyed that series, so definitely would recommend it. Um, and yeah, once I'm done with that, that was the end of my week. So now I'm just filling in my sidebar to track my workouts, my happy moments moments and my dinners and I usually have all that information tracked along with like everything that I did that week so it's pretty easy to reference it while I fill out my sidebar and now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left and then I'm doing a quick viv wiggle at the end to show you all the foiling. The one thing I forgot to do um, before I ended the spread was to put down some flags in the top corners since that purple did not match this spread at all so I actually ended up doing it off camera and here in this photo you can see that they've been covered so it looks so much better. Um, yeah so that is it for my spread. I am so, so excited to see how Rachel's spread turned out. Um, she did post like a little sneak peek of her midweek and it was already so beautiful. Um, so I just can't wait to see how the rest of her spread turns out. Definitely make sure you guys check out her video. Like I said, it's going to be linked down below and yeah, she's like super sweet and funny and has like a really calming voice to listen to. So I really think you guys will enjoy her videos. Um, and that is it for this week. If I forgot to mention anything, just let me know and I will get back to you on where these stickers from. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.